Ho, 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 time to hustle with Santa Claus. Are you ready to hustle? Santa Claus will teach you how to hustle in the pool. Time to, time to rack the balls. And I will show you a secret how to rack for yourself. Put the two ball behind the one. That way you can control the two ball position after the break. Uh, normally the two ball will hit the rail there, come here in front of the side pocket. So when you are on the one ball, the two ball after is really easy for you. And I'm going to show you what is going to happen. Make a soft break here. Control the speed of the two ball over here. Now it got kissed by another ball, but it's okay because if it gets kissed by another ball, the two balls going to end up over here closer to the one ball. So that's a good strategy you can use to control the two ball. Now I need to make a bank shot into the side pocket. So I use the top left spin to make the bank shot. Easy position on the two ball, you see. If I had racked the two ball, for example, over here or here, very tough. But now the two ball is over here, very easy to make the two ball. I will rack the two ball again behind the one ball to show you that uh, you can replicate the break shot so you get a good position on the two ball after. Let's do this, a soft break. Two ball goes close to the side pocket, perfect. You see how easy, easy it is for it to make the two ball in the side when it's so close to the side pocket. That's how you want to control the two ball, okay? And then you just, you just make the one in the corner. You have easy position on the two in the side, no problem. You don't need to control the cue ball into difficult places if, if the two ball is so close to the side pocket. It's like a cheat that you can do. If you hustle, you play against someone else, uh, you, you bet maybe a thousand dollars, then you say, yeah, we, we will rack for ourselves, okay? So firstly, maybe you want to, let's say he says, let's uh, rack for me, okay? Then you rack really badly, and then you, then you want to give him the idea that you rack for yourselves. That's the idea you want to give him. So then he tells, tells you, you are racking so badly, I want to rack for myself, and you can rack for yourself. And then you are going to put the two ball behind the one ball, okay? And then you can control the break shot much easier. Let's do another rack here to control the two ball. And there you go, you see, two ball. Ooh, it got kissed by another ball, but you, you got the idea. Two ball goes towards the side pocket. Let's see if I can make the first one ball really tough shot. Tough. Yep, there you go. And now if the two ball was close to the side pocket, it would be really easy to make the two ball. Okay, let's make another rack here. And if you are going to break from the other side, then just you just put the two ball on this side in, instead. So it is the, the mirror, just a, you just mirror the rack if you break from the other side. So let's do it again. And you can also, as a bonus, you can place a three ball also uh, below here. So the three ball is going to go here. Two ball will stop here, three ball somewhere here, okay? So you can prepare, you can plan the entire rack when you put the two ball, when you put the balls yourself in the rack. You see, three ball is over here, two ball is over here. Easy to go from the two ball to the three ball. So that is what you can plan in the break shot. Let's do it again. Two ball behind the one ball. And also three ball here, yeah. And then you can also put the, maybe the four ball over here. The eight ball you can put here, okay, at the back. It is uncontrollable. You can control everything else, but not the eight ball. And uh, you can actually just place the eight ball 
below the nine somewhere so to keep the nine and the eight close to each other after the break shot so i'm going to put the eight ball here so you can see what will happen eight ball here just below the nine and then let's break the balls so eight balls stops here close to the nine here you see Make another break shot. Okay, so the two ball and the three ball are behind uh, the one ball. And I will show it again to you. There, three ball goes here, two ball is close to the, two and three are close to each other. So it is easy to get, to play position from the two to the three. And now I, I was unlucky because the four was in the way of the one ball. So, but you can see the idea here that just from placing the balls, just the two and the three behind the one ball, they will be close to each other after the break shot to make it easier. And uh, in the best case scenario, uh, the one ball goes to the, in, in the side pocket in the break shot and the two ball will stop here and the cue ball will stop here. And then the three ball is close to the two, so you are going to get a good, easy run out after, after the break shot. You see here, two ball goes to the, close to the center of the table, three ball is over here. Cue ball close to the one ball, almost that you got good position and could have ended up, ended the rack by making the one here in the side, making a, make the one, one in the corner, make a stop shot here, you see. You can make a stop shot on the two just because the three is so close. You don't need to travel with the cue ball that much. So that's the benefit of racking the balls that way. With the one, two, and three together in the rack. One, two, and three. That's all you need to think about in the, in the rack. You can, of course, also control the other balls, but it's going to be much, much tougher and it is dif different on every table where the balls will go. So that is what you want to experiment with. And I'm going to show it again. There you go. You see, position play on the one ball. Two ball is close to the side pocket. So this is going to be easy for you just, be, just because of the two ball. The two ball is the key here. Very easy to get to the two ball, but if the two ball would be elsewhere, would be tough. You don't really need to memorize uh, much at all. Just put the one, two, three there. That's, that's all you need to think about. One, two, three, rack, and that's all. And if you want to make it more advanced, you can memorize all the other balls in the rack. And, and experiment where all the other balls will go to but it's going to be different for every table so it's just not worth it to experiment and waste your time on that so so, so just think about the one two three uh, in the in the rack okay one two three two ball went almost here yeah now it got kissed into the side pocket okay let's see what will happen in the break shot this time yeah, two ball goes towards the side pocket. Now I shot it too soft. So the two ball did not go far enough into the, close to the side pocket. So I'm going to do it again. And then another break shot. Let's see where the two ball will go. I will hit it harder this time. Like that. Now the two ball had more speed on it. Got closer to the side pocket. It's a very good, very good place for the two ball. And if the three was not there, the one ball would be easy. To make but now i can just make a i can make a combination here the one three combination and now i can get position on the two ball because the two ball is so close to the side pocket it becomes easier to make the two ball you see now very easy now two ball is just in front of the side pocket really easy to make the two so that's why you want to place the the two ball behind the one ball in the break shot okay so this is the end of the video I will see you next time. Goodbye. There's nothing else in life than pool. Play pool. Play pool.